So the 4070 Ti Super just came out and you may be wondering, what is the perfect build to plan for it? This right here is that perfect build. Featuring a Ryzen 7 7700 and the 4070 Ti Super, it's gonna be an awesome gaming PC for 4K gaming and it's gonna be pretty easy to put together. We're gonna show you how after a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking for top notch electronics and unbeatable deals? Look no further than Micro Center, your ultimate tech destination. Why settle for less when you can have more for your money? Micro Center brings you unbeatable deals on top brands, ensuring you get the most value out of your money. One of their top deals for new customers is the Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for only $149. Let's not forget that Micro Center is having Monitor Madness deals all month long. My favorite deal is the Acer XZ272U 27-inch 1440p 165Hz monitor for only $179. But there are more than 150 monitors for sale in case you want something different. It's great because you can save even more money by taking advantage of their submit a build discount. If you submit your build to Micro Center's build showcase, they'll email you a Micro Center coupon worth $25. And if you happen to be located in North Carolina, you're in luck because Micro Center is opening a brand new store in Charlotte. If you're interested in learning more about all of Micro Center's offerings, check out the links in the description down below or head over to microcenter.com. Big thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. So to kick things off, we have the Ryzen 7 7700. This is an eight core, 16 thread processor that does come with a really large stock cooler, but we got other plans to cool this. To cool the CPU, we're gonna be using the Thermalrite Frozen Note 360 Black Air GB Liquid Cooler. It has a nice mirror effect on it, and these things are just so cheap that it's just a no brainer. For the motherboard, we have an MSI Pro B650S Wi Fi. This has the latest protocols of Wi Fi and Bluetooth. It's automatically DDR5 since it's AM5. We get four RAM slots. We actually have one 8 pin and a four pin, so really you could handle like a Ryzen 9 if you wanted to, and obviously plenty of room for expansion. Shout out to G Skill for sending over this Trident Z. 5 RAM. This is a 32 gig kit at 6,000 megahertz with some pretty good cast latencies and it's RGB. It's gonna look really sick and we love using this G-Skill RAM. And for the SSD, we went with the Silicon Power UD91 terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD. It's gonna be nice and fast and you have to go Gen 4 when you're getting DDR5 and all these other nice parts. Now for the star of the show, we have this Asus Tough RTX 4070 Ti Super. It has 16 gigs of VRAM. It's a really solid graphics card overall and it really is just a slot in upgrade for someone looking to build a 4070 Ti build, get some extra performance performance, a little bit more VRAM, and all in all, it's a pretty solid graphics card. It's going to be great for entry-level 4K gaming, and more importantly, high refresh rate 1440p gaming if you want to go that route. Now for the power supply, we have the good old Seagotep GM750 80 plus gold power supply. 750 watts is plenty for this PC build, and this power supply comes with the PCI 5.0 connector, so we don't have to use a, well, horrible looking adapter, to be honest, to power this graphics card. And yeah, we use these a lot over at PCBros.tech, our PC selling business, and we've been very happy with them. But we are going to make those cables look a bit better with some Asia Horse sleeve cables. I think I just got the basic black cables. I'm gonna verify because I never really remember. Yep, basic black sleeve cables, nothing too crazy to write home about, but this will work for the 24 pin and CPU power and we'll be using that ATX 3.0 connector for the GPU. Now for the case, this is the Montec King 95 Pro, which is a case that's been sitting on our shelf for a while. And the fact it's been sitting up there has actually bent the shelf down, which is actually kind of funny to look at. But anywho, uh, the King 95 Pro is an awesome case that has this continuous piece of tempered glass, which is really sick to see. That bend is a bit unique compared to the other cases on the market. And the Pro version comes with a bunch of fans pre-installed, which we are going to match with these AX120 PWM fans, three of them on our AIO cooler. So we're gonna be all montec out here with their RGB fans, and it's gonna look really cool. I'm excited to build this PC and see how this combo performs. Let's put it together and find out.
All right, guys, we're playing Halo Infinite. We are currently 120 FOV. We're at uh, 4K. 4K, man. And high setting preset. Let's see what this bad boy can do. On FPS, woohoo. Obviously, with this uh, graphics card, it's aimed mainly at like entry level 4K with high refresh rate, 1440p, high settings in mind. But we're going 4K to max this thing out. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Oh, oh sniper fail. You know, it's been a little bit. But yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, this graphics card's very geared towards 1440p and 4K. Mm -hmm. I would say wall streaming, not streaming, doesn't really matter. You should be able to get really great FPS regardless. <gasps> Bro, oh, <laughs> same guy. Temperatures in the system looking really good. Oh, 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 oh. Back smack. Oh, <laughs> no. So clean up, clean up. Oh, oh almost. Another assist. Hey. Oh, yeah. Y'all. Y'all. Yeah. What? What? Shit. Hey. Hey. Kill Joe. I shoot what I see. Not ah. Oh, yay! We did it! We did it! A win Hooray. on an awesome PC. Yeah, no, 4K gaming. I mean, I guess we gotta take it to the next game, 4K, right? Let's play some Warzone. All right, guys, we are starting with Call of Duty Warzone. Well, starting, we're playing Call of Duty Warzone, and these are the settings we're running. Red 4K. Uh, balanced preset. Uh, we are using FSR 3 because I noticed that on DLSS, there is no frame gen option for DLSS, which is kind of weird in my opinion. So um, we're gonna run FSR 3 frame gen because we had really good results with the 7800 XT. And so far at 4K, getting 200 plus FPS. Frame gen's just like magic, apparently. He's got the magic. Got the magic. Yeah, and even then, like the GPU is still being utilized 100%. So, you know, again, frame gen isn't perfect. It does induce some latency. It's not perfect for uh, like competitive gaming, but for those who just want to, you know, get high FPS, I mean, it's kind of cool. Oh. Like you kidding me? Do you think you can do that? Huh? He's already back. He's already down. I thirsted him. Up the rope. Oh my God. He's coming. Why is he so fast? <laughs> Dude, that guy was like a ninja. <laughs> that gun feels unfair. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Oh. Okay, that's such. <laughs> well, apparently I need to get better, but hey! Call of Duty with frame gen. FSR 3 and frame gen, just movie magic. Mm -hmm. 200 plus FPS at 4K, no problem whatsoever. Uh, let's run some more demanding games. Let's run Starfield, let's run Cyberpunk, and let's run 3D Mark and get that score to see the simper point average. Because yeah, this is a bit of a premium system. AMD cards tend to be a bit cheaper and you can get similar performance, but I'm curious to see what that frame per point average is with the 4070 Ti Super. And then we're gonna wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done doing some 4K benchmarking, and we managed to get well over 100 FPS in every game we threw at it. And on top of that, this PC case is amazing with all the fans and everything. The airflow is great. It sounds really good. It performs great, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. And the performance was really good as well. We tested a couple other AAA titles to further expand on the performance of this PC. We ran Cyberpunk at 4K with DLSS quality and ray tracing set to ultra settings. We got an average of 70 FPS. That's pretty much max settings 4K, getting 60 plus FPS, really dang good. And Starfield at 4K with DLSS on high settings, got 80 to 90 FPS on average. But of course, you want to know that 3D Mark Time Spy score, which was 21,346, which is nine cent per point given the price of this PC. So all in all, all, it's a pretty good price performance PC. You are spending a good amount of money on it, but in terms of the value you're getting for the price, really awesome for the money. And I really think this case is a big part of it. It looks really awesome, very premium at the $149 price point with the fans that you can get. I think it's a really good buy. So if you're gonna build this PC yourself, check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this PC in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.
If you thought this build was absolutely awesome and you would like to own this exact build that was built by the Toaster Bros, you can buy it at PCBros.tech. PCBros.tech, we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOASTYBROS2 on checkout. You'll save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.